Hello all, this will be just a quick update video on the Bypass Windows Defender with Scarecrow video that I have posted yesterday on the channel. If you haven't watched it already, please do so. The link to the video will be in the video's description. Basically, what prompted this quick update video was this particular comment that I have received on the video, mentioning that Windows Defender was able to pick up the DLL payload generated by Scarecrow. Usually, when a new technique or tool gets published publicly, Windows Defender will be quick to pick them up and prevent them from working. There are Blue Team and Threat Intel analysts actively looking at Twitter, Reddit, YouTube, and even GitHub for stuff like that. So whenever something gets published, it wouldn't work after a few days. I have decided to check it out again today because why not? As shown in the previous video, the last DLL payload that we have generated with Scarecrow was the CFG MGR32.DLL payload file. It was working fine with Windows Defender all turned on. Let's try it out again now to see if Windows Defender is really able to pick it up as mentioned by the comment posted. As shown in the screen, the Windows Defender has just been updated today and all of the features are turned on. Let's transfer the DLL file over with SCP. Whoa, indeed, Windows Defender is able to pick it up now. It has been less than 24 hours since I have published the video. This is really impressive on Windows Defender. If we try to execute the DLL payload file, we can see that it is not possible as Windows Defender will block it. It takes a while for Windows Defender to delete the malicious file but the file will definitely be removed since it has been detected by Windows Defender as malicious. So what can we do now? Well, as mentioned in my previous video, it is highly recommended to explore the available options provided by Scarecrow. This was the command I have used to generate the DLL payload previously in the video. There was no customization and everything was left as default. If we check out the Scarecrow help page, we can see that there are so many options we can modify. Let's try out the dash exec exec option. The default uses the RTL copy. Let's try to set the execution exec method to something like virtual alloc instead. Let's generate a new DLL payload file specifying the exec method to be virtual alloc. Okay, it is now generating a new DLL payload file named app help. Let's run our Metaprinter listener on another console. Looking at our windows again, the Hello World DLL payload file has now been removed by Windows Defender. Okay, Scarecrow has successfully generated a new DLL payload file, app help.dll, that contains a new execution method set by us. Let's now transfer the files over to our Windows machine and give it a try. Let's transfer the previous DLL payload file first, the cfgmgr32.dll file. Let's name it helloworld.dll. As expected, Windows Defender immediately detected it as malicious. Now let's transfer the new DLL file generated by Scarecrow, the apphelp.dll file. Let's name it as hello world 2dll As shown in the screen, there is zero detection on the new DLL payload file. If we try to execute the hello world.dll, we can see that it is not possible as it has been detected by Windows Defender as malicious. Now if we try to execute the new hello world 2dll payload file, we can see that it works. We are able to successfully bypass Windows Defender again, obtaining a functional Metaprinter reverse shell simply by changing the execution method to virtual alloc on Scarecrow. This is why I have mentioned that it is highly recommended to explore the options available on Scarecrow to further customize your payload. You can even load your shellcode payload remotely using this dash URL option which seems really cool. Alright all, thanks for watching. That is it to this quick update video. I will see you all soon in the next video. Bye.